there. My name is uh, Brian Sterling, and uh, we started the, the shelter belt really around our uh, farm uh, back in the uh, back in the 1980s. When I first started on this farm, I I had to go at it and actually uh, uh, was one of the uh, one of the people that did a lot of land clearing. And uh, after I did that land clearing, and then we had a couple of wet years, and uh, there was just a multitude of things that it was the uh, it was the uh, inability of the land to uh, to dry up, uh, along with the loss of uh, wildlife, uh, uh, just a combination of things. And I got interested in planting shelter belts, and so our first big shelter belt, I guess, would be a 19 uh, planting would be back in 1983. And uh, we decided to do a shelter belt around the uh, around the farm around the farmstead. Uh, some of the old photos back uh, before we started here show that there was actually no trees in, uh, around here. In uh, in in '83, we just had a little stretch of caragana there west of the house. And so on a wet year, and uh, and Andy was uh, just a kid, and we we took some of these shoots, these willow shoots. Uh, and just stuck them in the ground, hoping that they would grow. And uh, darned if they didn't. And we had a few other trees and, and ash and some spruce and and sea buckthorn. And we planted about five rows of these around the uh, uh, around the farmstead. And uh, uh, right away, um, the willow took off because mm -hmm. the land it was low land and it was kind of wet. And uh, they grew, uh, today you can see them, they're probably 30 feet high. And they, they, um, they actually do a lot for us. The two things that they do most of all is the, is the windbreak, uh, the advantages of having mm -hmm. the windbreak. And you're, you're, you just can't believe it, we'll have a storm in here and, uh, and just right in the yard here and it'll, it'll just be like a calm day, mm -hmm. really, really nice. The uh, willows grew enough so that uh, in any given year, I don't know how many um, thousands of gallons they soak up, but it must be a lot. And we've never really until this year had standing water in amongst those trees. So that was a, a huge advantage. Um, uh, we saw the protection that it gave so that we uh, continued planting and uh, on the, on the uh, quarter beside us here we, we planted uh, another two quarter mile rows of uh, buffalo berry. Uh, again, uh, uh, it had some ash in it, and these uh, turned out very well too. We had a very good start. Uh, we uh, uh, they grew to w the way they are today. I don't know how tall they'd be, ten or twelve feet tall. But uh, the advantage that they had, that they're thorny, they're mm -hmm. thorny, and yet the wildlife like them. They they seem to uh, uh, like the berries, and they'll they'll fight to get a taste of those berries. I, they're not very good tasting, but they must like them. And uh, so that's another advantage we've had with the, we've got lots of wildlife in here now. Uh, I guess the biggest difference would be the birds. Mm -hmm. We just we have birds coming out of our ears, all different kinds of birds. Biodiversity, I guess, uh, is what you call it. So then we started uh, 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 planting trees around a little feedlot that we have up north there. Uh, a couple of uh, half mile rows of trees across the west quarter to catch more snow and uh, there again nothing but advantages to to this i i, I see the uh, uh, the one big disadvantage i guess it would be that uh, with the bigger machinery nowadays you're fighting when you start uh, uh, doing the uh, uh, shelter belts across the uh, across the fields that uh, the bigger machinery has trouble with these shelter belts mm -hmm. and with uh, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, the width of the machine and then the uh, GP or the units that keep them going straight like if you don't come out even all of a sudden your uh, your field isn't isn't uh, isn't a square field uh, that's that's about um, that's about all I can think of we we're um, uh, our little town is disappearing and we're we are starting a new we got the ground prepared and next year we're starting a new uh, shelter belt and uh, mm. and a fruit orchard around it so hopefully in a few years we'll, we'll have something like that to show you too. Great. Thank you.